Hi, how are you going? Um, today I'm going to help you get through your second grade exam. You can definitely going to need a metronome, so have one of those, okay? They can be from your iPad, any shape and size. You have to use it. Um, for today, I'm just going to run you through every scale, every bowing at the speed. So if it's hard, just take it a little bit slower at home. This is a reference for you to use and help you get better and do awesome in your exam. All right, so firstly, we're going to go to the first page of our technical workbook for second grade and um, the first scale is B flat major and you have to play B flat major at 60 so my metronome is ready to go at 60 crotchet that's a crotchet beat but you have to play quavers so ta te ta te ta te ta te ready so we're going to do B flat major first in the middle of your bow find the B flat that's so important because sometimes if you don't start on the right note, you don't, don't do the right scale. Alright. Here we go, ready? Three, four. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the same scale, but we're going to do four notes per bow. We're going to get our metronome on, 60, and you always have to start this one down bow. We're going to go down, so we're going to count us in, 1, 2, 3, 4. same scale B flat major is martelé and it's attack and release so I'm going to just show you in D string I'm going to do four of these can be tricky to control but give it your best shot and I'm going to play it for you it's uh, B flat major martelé I'm going to put the measure on this time it's on 72 so we'll get it ready here we go one two three four Cache B flat melodic minor and that's 60 again. So we're gonna take a measure now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Crotchet equals 60 is ready. One, two, three, four. Right, now I'm going to play a few B flat melodic minor and I'm going to play it in Martelli at 72. Crotchet equals 72. That harmonic minor scale at uh, with detaché at 60. Got my measure ready. Right. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to play B flat harmonic minor scale slurred at 60 for you. One, two, three. And the last bowing, I'm going to 
replace your bezel harmonic minor scale again with the martelet. And this is at 72, so make sure you change your metronome. One, two, three, four. The next scale is D major at 60, and we're going to do a detaché bowing. The next one is going to be again D major, and I'm going to do for you slurs at 60. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to play for you D major scale. And this time, Martelet, and at 72. So let's change our metronome to 72. One, two, three, four. minor and um, I'll do that one I'm moving my metro to 60 again for you and we'll do detaché one two three four for you at 60 again and we're going to do slurred in fours. Ready? One, two, three, four. Uh, D melodic minor scale again for you at 72. One, two, three, four. scale so that should be my favorite scale again harmonics and we're going to do a detaché at 60 d melodic minor scale ready one two three four d harmonic minor scale again and i'm going to slur it in force ready one two three four and the harmonic minor scale again and this time with Martelet change your metronome to 72 let's do that one two three four Okay, arpeggio sequence. Two arpeggio sequences to, to prepare and two bowings. So let's do the first one. Commencing on B flat, separate bows at 84. My metronome is ready. Let's go. Okay, one. It's a bit faster, isn't it? All right, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Do 
that one again and let's slur, uh, slur it in threes. Try use as much bow as you can, make a beautiful sound. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Exercise 2A, you need your metronome again, and we're going to be doing chromatic finger movement. This exercise is chromatic slide, so going up in semitones, so from lower to higher, and then from higher to lower halfway through the actual uh, exercise. Let's have, give it a go, but before we do, I'm going to do it slower for you to help you, because sometimes playing things slower is better than playing it fast and not correct, okay? So slower and accurate. Let's try this at 66, but remember it has to get to crotchet equals 72 for your exam. So this is crotchet equals 66, and I'm going to count us in for the very beginning. Ready? One, two, three, four. Please slow shift exercise is the best exercise. Again, this one is adagio, which we know means slowly, at 80. Um, but I think that's a bit fast when you're practicing at home. So with me, I would like you to try it at 72. And then for your exam, get it ready at 80, okay? So this is about the speed, 72. And we go from the very, make your slides nice and smooth. I don't want to see jagged slides. Okay, let's try it, ready, one. Two, three, four. exercise 2C and uh, this is all about staying in third position don't go back to first position because a lot of students love doing that so stay in third position all right I'll be watching you stay in third position so again this one is at 80 which is quite fast to practice it the first time I'm gonna do it again for you at 72 slower and accurate is better again but we'll try and get it ready at 80 for your, for your exam if you can um, but if you can't, this is a good speed. So 72, crotch with 72, staying in third position. Ready? Let's get ready. One, two, three, four. Next exercise 
exercise is exercise 2D and it's double stopping exercise at 72, a little bit slower than what they ask us to do. So here we go. And I count as you ready. One, two, one, two, one, two. equal 72. One, two, three, four. tricky to get it perfect suddenly loud and soft so have fun and good luck with your exam violin virtuosos with rodney and anthea wickstrom please subscribe to our youtube channel for all strings related education videos visit our website violinvirtuosos.com.au and like our violin virtuosos facebook page